Josh, and I'm addicted to smoking. So we'll start the story from the beginning. I had my first cigarette when I was 18, and my friend gave it to me at a party. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but didn't feel like it was for me for the longest time. Um, then I was on a work trip and I had a cigarillo and it affected me a lot. Like I could feel it in my head and I was almost in the state of vomiting, but like not quite. And I liked that, uh, that feeling. And so from then I kind of just would have a couple of days. Um, I would, there was one moment when I was really, really anxious and um, the cigarette helped. And I think that was kind of the worst part of the addiction for the most part is that it helps in certain scenarios for me but isn't helpful in the long run because when I'm trying to quit or when I'm low on money I end up just spending a lot of time in bed and not actually being productive or doing anything in my day and I really don't like that and I want to change it so yeah, that's why I'm trying to stop, because I can't handle being incapacitated as long as I am, you know, for as often as I am. And it's burning a hole in my pocket, like I've got no money ever, so I gotta do that too. I also forgot to mention that um, I've been smoking about a pack a day for the past um, seven years. Yeah. That's that's kind of where I'm at right now, and I don't. It's hard for me to admit that. And I don't know what to do about it, but uh, I do know that it needs to stop, and uh, I think I have a plan on how to do that, but it's still going to be expensive. It's not like I can just cure it overnight. I have to have a plan in order to move forward and do something about this addiction. Part of this is for me, a lot of it is for me, everything about this is for me, uh, but uh, another part is also that I don't want people to have to go through what I went through with tobacco in order to I don't want people to have to go through what I went through with tobacco. Because it's very dangerous. And it can destroy people's lives. I'm hoping that it won't destroy my life. I'm hoping it'll just be a hindrance on my life, but not a end to my life. So now I'm about a week into vaping, and it's been really good. Um, I've been tossing and turning over whether or not it's actually better for me or worse for me, but I think there's nothing worse than to the actual tobacco, so I've just been kind of living that life. 
vaping when I can, I'm trying to cut down a little bit here and there. Um, it's, yeah, it's going well. I, um, I've got a juice to, that's half the concentration of what the juice that I'm working now is. So the plan is to finish off the 0.6 and move on to 0.3. And then maybe two, and then maybe one, and then maybe zero. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll check in with you later about it. But for now, that's where it is. I'm just kind of chilling. Josh. This way. Oh man, this this is trippy. It looks so red and like it's it's like it's like you're walking on like a red zone path or something like that. Holy shit, this is dope.